Opposition leader Kamala Prasad Bissasa hosts her 26th annual Diwali celebration, which sees the attendance of her party's MPs, councillors, close associates, and even foreign diplomats. Her Excellency Candice Bond, Ambassador of the USA here in Trinidad, let's welcome her. Thank you so much. Let's give her a good Sapphira welcome, please. Thank you. His Excellency Ambassador of China to Trinidad and Tobago, let's give him a round of applause. And I'm not done yet, more special people. His Excellency Ambassador of France, but he's not here alone. He came with his wife and daughter. Let's welcome to my constituency. But the day proves to be bittersweet. It's a celebration the former Prime Minister was conflicted about hosting after the passing of her paternal aunt just hours earlier. I cannot stand in front of you and smile as you've grown accustomed to because my heart is deeply troubled and grieved as one of those Lakshmi's that I spoke of in my own life passed away yesterday. Last evening, my paternal auntie, I lost her. She was a matriarch. Tante Leda was not just an aunt. She was my second mother. Her home was my home. My pain was her pain, and her love was one of my greatest sources of strength. Like any other person experiencing loss, Basad Bisasa expresses distress. At times, she wiped away tears. If my head hurts, you know where I go? I find myself in Buddha Trace with Tante Leda. If I'm having fever, I go to Tante Leda. I go to her family. They have always been my safe space. I mean, sometimes, you know, it gets you down in public life, as many of you are here. Where do you go? That was my second home, a home of salvation, my house of refuge. Reflecting on her own span of office, the Saparia MP expressed gratitude to those who kept her undefeated. But me some time to truly express my gratitude to the thousands of my constituents. I want to say thank you, Saparia. Thank you. Thank you. I've been in public life 28 years and never once have you left my side. She invited diplomats to the stage where from a brass lamp in her hand, light was shared so each could illuminate their own wax tears. When our forefathers came, they did not have gold. They did not have silver. They did not have diamonds. What they brought were the holy texts, the Ramayan and the Quran. And that is what today now we celebrate. I invite you to join us, Excellencies, as we light our dears in honor of this great festival of light, always remembering the light will always dispel the darkness. Urvashi Tumwari, Rupnarain, TV6 News.